and I, I think the most important point is it speaks to institutional customers, very traditional institutional customers wanting to get crypto asset exposure. Next 12 hours, and the market is going to be really hard as the expected inflation rate comes out. If it's higher than what we all expect, it's going to be a bad news. But if it is lower, then the anticipation of September rate hike being 75 basis point drops. We need to see what the Fed does. That's a different story. But general consensus as of now is that the economic week is going to be dominated with the inflation report and they also expect it to be dropping. Now, there are reasons for that. We will go through that. But before that, we actually saw 10 days before, you know, 75 basis point, that kind of hawkish, aggressive talks. But right now, it's kind of being a little bit optimistic. Oil price is dropping. You see, stuff is dropping, meaning the inflation is slowing down. Are we saying it's going to drop to 2 percentage? No. But when you are in the crypto market, this is the most volatile market. So when you are here, be prepared because you need more information to stay updated so that you don't take the wrong decision. So if you are here, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that. Now, inside this market, you have some big information awaiting you. So if it's me, I would say, yes, this is a big information because a lot of people do not consider this. As we talked in our last video, that actually boils down to these kind of scenario. So let's break these down. This is the Scientific Investor family, where the regular guys in crypto learn how to become the next top 10 percentage, top 5 percentage. So let's actually look through this and understand like, okay, what really is happening. Because if you actually listen a little bit here from Brad and then understand, okay, that's the fundamental. And then you go on to look at what really is happening behind the screen with the giants in the institutional area of crypto and then the entire market, mm, that's something which is going to be helpful for you. Unfortunately, I think that percentage, particularly in the recent ICO wave, I think that percentage is a very high percentage. I think there is going to be uh, carnage to be had from that. And I think what, you know, Grant is more smarter than I am in many ways, not the least of which is on the law, but, you know, the ICOs, regulation around, the SEC regulation around securities are designed to protect investors and now you need to understand that idea of a carnage coming into the market is completely true because you now have thousands of assets inside this asset class, tens of thousands, and you really don't know which one has a utility, which one solves some kind of problem and why some of these assets are still there, right? Today, when you look in the market, you have hard decision to make. But before you go do that, I'll actually give you this point. Now, this is one of the core elements where you can really make a lot of money without the whales, institutional whales, interfering in your business. If you see a company, especially we tend to see them with small caps, those small caps tend to have not a lot of institutional ownership. And that, and that makes them interesting because they tend to be off the radar because institutions, large institutions, usually can't invest in them anyway. And so you can. So keep in mind, when you have a lot of volume, yes, you do have a lot of volume. That's actually a good news. But the institutional guys like JP Morgan will be there definitely to manipulate you. Now, I'm not saying all these small caps are safe. I'm saying institutional guys would be much lower in terms of percentage. But you also have whales in Ether, BTC and other coins who can literally use a decentralized exchange, move and buy, sell any other coins and shake the market. So you should be prepared. When we have such an economic week, you need to actually understand that's not the entire story. Yes, that's for this week, but not for this cycle. I have wanted to do that BlackRock partnership since the day I joined Coinbase. So for this to come together now, actually, during the crypto winter is such an incredible testament to where we are, where they are, where their customers are. And I, I think the most important point is it speaks to institutional customers, very traditional institutional customers wanting to get crypto asset exposure. Now that, for me, 
is super bullish for crypto market. If traditional institutional investors are looking for an exposure here, they do understand the market is going to go higher. They are not thinking that the market is going to drop another 50 percentage. Rather, they are looking for upside because that's the only reason why you buy. You can sell for various different reasons, but when you buy, you buy because you think the market is going to go higher, right? Here, NXRP and Bitcoin, what you are looking at is the market is slowly bouncing, but the difference is right now, it's Bitcoin slowly dominating in the market. Great, when Bitcoin is bouncing, remember when Bitcoin dropped, it was really hard to say whether it's gonna go up, whether it's gonna go down, and we did talk about this scenario, right? That's a support and we are gonna bounce. And as you go through that, I would personally say, okay, look at this. This is happening in a lot of different assets right now. Not one, not two. But when you are in this market, you need to also make sure there are some utility behind it. So when you look at this, it's Hedra. And for me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, that's something changing technically. And it's a fundamental asset. So for me, I'm like, okay, uh huh. It's actually preparing for another wave cycle to the upside. Great. Now, is that the only asset in this market? No, you have a lot of other assets trying to go higher, which is actually getting more volume compared to last week, last month. And that's a signal of how the market is going to evolve. So now when you look at the general altcoin dominance, now we are like, okay, what really is happening? I'm not sure. Don't be that confused guy. We are all human beings. We all get confused, but try to dig in more and get this data. Here, what it's actually showing you is it consolidated before the breakout. Fine. Here, it broke higher with a little bit of consolidation. So I'm expecting a retest. But the issue right now is that retest in terms of the numbers here, you are coming almost back down but you have a little bit more room in the rsi to read it so you may actually get another fake out going to the downside touching the moving average and bouncing so what does that actually mean for bitcoin dominance because that's going to be another important choice to see bitcoin dominance has already slowly coming back up it tested the 20 moving average and i'm like okay it's still not closed so we are literally waiting to see like what really is happening here because as of now it shows like a lot of money is flowing into bitcoin mm -hmm. great you just heard institutional guys are there and they are becoming heavy and when they go heavy they need volume they're not only looking at bitcoin it can be other bitcoin top five top 10 coins here agreed but at the same time you have a lot of opportunity in the small caps. Not saying put 100% of your portfolio in that area, but if you focus, you can get some higher odds in terms of the returns. Fine, now we go into the XRP chart. You wanna actually look at the XRP and see like, okay, what XRP is really showing you? Because it is bouncing and it's trying to make a rounded bottom. You are in a consolidative range, all agreed. But right now, when you actually go on a four hour chart, you know, you are not saying like, we are going down. For me, I'm looking at this and I'm saying like, okay, this for me look really like a bull flag where your momentum was to the upside. You consolidated here, bursted. Now we are consolidating here, starting to burst. So as soon as you go higher, you know, these are like the normal basic stuff in the technical analysis. You see another nine, 10 percentage high after the breakout. So the price is going towards 0.4 and that's a four hour chart agreed when you zoom a little bit back out and ask the same question okay do we have a lot of resistance before that 0.4 yes somewhere close to 0.38 we do so if we are breaking this now that is a great news one now that's a horizontal support trend line now if you actually try connecting these resistance to see where it goes now it come to 0.4 so that's where the advantage of technical analysis comes. You can literally anticipate this move. Mm -hmm. If you are trading, you can buy here, you can sell here for a trader. If not, you don't have to go through that noise in the market, getting stressed out, pushing that cortisol into your brain. You don't have to do that. What you are generally looking at right now, if you are holding XRP for a long period of time, 
it's like okay when will this go up fine we all feel the same but what we want to see in the market is a bounce here a breakthrough and reach the level of 0 0.5 0 0.6 but it's not over because that's going to be another level of resistance but what we can say is that the market is showing you a signal here where this is your long-term trend so if you are breaking here that goes back to what we just saw in hedra that broke higher great the price is climbing so you are at that world where you can break higher in terms of xrp now so it seems like you know members asking like okay can you actually describe some about cardano inside this so if you are looking at cardano i'm like okay this is clear that it, the price is actually trending to the downside in a channel great now if you go to google just to see like okay falling channels you can easily look at this and say like okay this pattern usually gives a break to the upside a continuation pattern to the upside now this is not generally one-off whenever you go you see the majority you most likely see that things are happening like this so when you go back there there is a huge possibility you're going to do that why the rsi you're trending lower you broke that one and at the bottom before you did that this was your support before agreed now that turned into a resistance and this is your accumulation range so if you are looking at another technical now everyone has different style this is showing you a rounded bottom and rounded bottom at this side is low here your momentum increases so the volatility will be higher agreed but that's not showing like this as it is going another 50 percentage down now if another whale decides to dump that's a different story but technically speaking you are near the moving average and resistance so as it breaks higher you expect the market to come back and test this level of a dollar so that's a hundred percentage move to the upside as a probability fine now we go on to the xrp btc because btc is going up you really want to see like okay did all the bullish stuff happening on btc pairs for alt die as of now no you broke higher you retested bounced then you know things are happening like this but you came back lower to this level and you're holding there that's what's more important for me because as i zoom out to look at the rsi this is what you're trying to connect and i'm like okay that's the support range the rsi is it a support the price is it a support uh, mm, uh right most likely you may have a bounce and that's actually good in terms of a short fluctuation but when you actually zoom out take all of this out to see you are still here you bounced from this level and this was your previous level of support now you are staying above that support so this happened to be a fake out where the price got rejected with a big long candle so that for me is actually bullish now the issue you know is yes the sec case is slowing down we don't have a lot of retail investors here mainly from us because you don't get this asset in a lot of big exchanges great now when you come into the market you do see like okay there is a lot of different stuffs happening you are getting this issue in the market and you know a lot of different opinions are there it's going to 40k it's going to 60k whatever i think we are trying to test 30k first great but i don't actually think now i completely respect tony and he's one of the youtuber you know i used to watch way before i had a channel i respect him completely but what if we are breaking 40 what if we are going to 45 50 55 no one knows right no one knows so i would more likely lean into an area where yes we may go higher but i don't actually think you are dropping because in that narrative the difference here is if you are saying okay we are testing 30 and getting rejected okay that's a possibility that was your long-term support here mm -hmm. you held that you broke that great you retest and get rejected fine but if you are breaking this and going higher towards 40 now the odds are much towards the bullish side you can say it's 70 percentage if that's me i would say like that why because when you break through this range of 30 it's not only the downtrend channel which you are actually going to break it's also the horizontal level 
So now you do have different measured moves to actually look inside this market saying, okay, this channel is broken. And what's your measured move? You can say like, okay, there is a possibility of 100 percentage move after the break, which is like, you know, you're going all the way towards $60,000 Bitcoin. So uh, technically speaking, there is room if you are breaking 30K, fine. So on the RSI side of this, you are trying to see like, okay, we are at that range where we are breaking higher we are at that range so if you see that price action coming in to this it's like okay you break the moving average move about twenty four thousand, and that makes this range a perfect double bottom which we talked away before now not everyone would be agreeing this like a double bottom reversal at the time when you drop it's hard to actually lean to that direction because you can be proved wrong now this is the market right no one knows what's really going to happen what you're trying to do is to anticipate based on the macro. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Now, yes, microeconomics does work, but in the current situation where, you know, the central banks are leaning towards interrupting everything, I'm like, okay, that's macro. That's a macro factor. If you are looking at economics, you'll say like, okay, that's macro. And if you're trying to price in, understand this is something you need to consider. This is a stock, yes, then new product went out in the market. Price uh, seems to be so slowly going up, but also you have to note like the 200 day moving average has been breached on a daily chart. So you're still trying to trend higher, but you do have resistance, which you have to break, agreed. But the RSI suggests you're breaking higher. You have the odds to the upside. The price breaks the moving average, 200 day moving average. And then on a weekly, when you go, you're like, okay, uh -huh, there is still a possibility this pattern can break higher. One more time, you go higher. In the last video, Jim Rogers, who would marks, all of them actually had some kind of similar opinion saying, getting out of the market may not be the right thing to do now. And Jim especially gave you that narrative saying, okay, I personally think like there is going to be another leg up. So if you listen to that, you already heard from Jim and his perspective and you know how we in crypto market can use that, right? So here inside this market, yes, we are going to see a lot of volatility. You're going to see a lot of small coins running here and there. And oh, at least I'm happy to see XRP here. Now that's not much in terms of the movement when you see H bar, Raven and others are doing much, much, much better. But yes, you have the back wind coming in and that's what we are all waiting for. So when you actually zoom out for Bitcoin on a monthly, this is what you're observing. You had a month where you tried to go up, then that got raised. Now you're slowly going back up. So if you ask me, I would say like, okay, you zoom in and you just take a horizontal ray, put it here. Now that's your monthly open close range. And this is the previous one. So if you are getting rejected bounce from here, put a new higher low mm -hmm. and if you break this level of 23 24 I'm like okay there is something changing in that direction you had the a b c and most likely you are slowly starting a new trend higher we need to see I can be wrong but what we are trying to look at here is if that breaks higher what would the altcoin market be doing so we are Looking at the altcoin market in general, trying to anticipate like what's the move coming in. And if that's you, now you're looking at something like this. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit and make sure like, okay, that's what we are trying to address. Great. You zoom in here on the RSI and you see like, okay, there is a huge possibility that you are breaking higher. Mm -hmm. Great. And that getting in the price action is like, okay, you are going higher fine right now we are at the 20 day moving average trying to break and change the trend because historically speaking when you go here and look at this when you're breaking this to the upside after a major downside that actually signals you okay there is something changing the downward trend is done here you went up now if you measure like how high you actually went from that cross it's a hundred foot percentage Great. Now you again came back lower. You had that coronavirus crash. All those happened. Agreed. But next time and again, you broke this one. Now this is that major 2020 March crash from health crisis. Otherwise, whenever you cross this, you have a retest and then you start trending higher. So you literally, you can actually go lower and see whenever you are doing this, that's 
showcasing that momentum is coming back in, you need to also understand where the RSI is standing at that point because when the RSI drops this low and then come back up, that signals you, okay, something is changing. So here, when you are looking at the pattern, yes, we've been talking about this from a long time since we are inside this. And if we break this, that's a falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern, which breaks to the upside most of the time. And if that happens, that's another rally. Now, if you do have patience, you are going to reap the benefits from this market. And if you are looking at trading a lot of different assets, or at least a little bit here and there, without the short term trading, you know, not fighting with the algorithm or the bots, high frequency trading bots, Great, you can look at the Patreon, the link is given in the description below where we do trade and take profits. Maybe two weeks, maybe a month or two. That does happen. But you don't need to be there doing the four hour trading, two hour trading. Now, if it's your choice, you can do that. That's great. So guys, I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.